Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to The Roulette. I am your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Forgione. Hi, welcome to Little Creatures. And Ashley Miller. We're on a road to nowhere. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to do that. <laughs> it's stupid. <laughs> anyway, uh, in 60... 60- Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, wow. I'm going to get to, uh, what, horse what the hell Pat, is that? Uh... Is Horse Pat being flung around by his penis? <laughs> well, I was going to say his little horsey tail, but okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think the so there's a little, there's a little onto. bit of damage, a little bit of damage to this little creature's vinyl, uh, cover, but other so we, than um, that... Yeah. So we haven't had a uh, straight up like Japanese only release on the wheel for a bit. The last one was Wonder Project J two, but uh, we have another one on the wheel tonight. And I I would it would be cool if we got to it, but I, I we'll see we'll see what happens. There's a lot of fighting games. There's a lot of racing games. There's a lot of games here that I'm hoping we get to because yeah, this, I'm, I'm a fan. This could be like a couple just really good shows in a row here is, is what I'm hoping. Mm-hmm. So. Without any further ado, we're going to spin this wheel and see what we're playing. Without any further ado, do this is this is actually not bad vinyl, and I love how it's set up. But god damn, I wish it wasn't bent. Ugh, my apologies. I just as we started, I was coming back from vinyl record shopping. Oh, eh, perfect. Automobile Lamborghini. Lamborghini. So um. I want to point out that this game has a special place in uh, MVG Live history. Lamborghini Weenie. Mm-hmm. Yep. And wasn't this also where you came up with the where you fucking bow? Yeah, this was uh we're no strangers. Oh, that's the same. Go. It's the very it's the same video. We only played Automobile Lamborghini for one like 30 minute segment. But in mm. that 30 minute segment was about a third of it was gold. <laughs> so, yeah. So that's how it goes. So we're doing it again. Yeah, we're doing it again. I'm actually playing with a brand new uh, controller as well today. I decided to... Oh, uh, really? Did you just get it? Yeah, I just got it today. As a matter of fact, I went out to Best Buy and bought an 8-bit dough uh, controller. It's An 8-bit dough? Yeah, 8-bit dough is the brand. It is a... It's basically an Xbox controller because it's got the Xbox uh, it layout, but it's it's made okay. for Windows. So I'm able oh. to play whatever I want on computer. On yeah, kinda, I'm looking at a picture of it. It kind of does look like a... Uh... It's, it's really cool looking, and it came with its own charger base and stand, which is sitting over on my other table right now. So I was like, I, I think I could use this. Speaking of purchasing game-related things, there was a gentleman in Brooklyn who was selling a modified Sega Nomad. Right. The um, LCD clear screen got the uh, all the insides were buffed up and replaced and it was he was selling it for a good price so I uh, bit the bullet and got it. Okay. Have you uh, have you actually tried it out yet and seen uh, how well, well it plays? Or that's well, the one it, for for just for uh, listeners at home. That's the the system that it plays Genesis cartridges. It's just a handheld Genesis, basically. Yes, correct. the uh, The problem is I don't have any Sega games tested out with. I think my old Sega is somewhere in my attic, but. I am not about to go foraging up there because there's about a kajillion things there. Um, so I would say the best showed, thing to do would be to go find a copy of like Sonic Two. I mean, he showed me he showed me video footage of himself playing Sonic Three on it, and it looked really crisp. So that's good. I'll be right back. I have to weigh a chalkboard. That is the strangest thing I've ever heard. But okay. I'm actually... Um, mm. One of the strangest oh, things I've ever heard. That. I have to go I'm weigh a that. chalkboard. That's um, That sounds like one of them excuses you come up with when you just you can't think of anything and you're just throwing words together at random. Hey, I, I, I gotta go massage my pet chipmunk's balls. Yeah, pretty much. It's like a it's like an excuse you 
make up when you don't have an excuse. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'll be right back. I, I gotta go th throw meat at the neighbors. I'm just like, really? Do you though? Oh, I forgot. It's the second Tuesday of the month. It's throw meat at your neighbor's day. Yeah. No, it's I'm hanging up a Christmas present that a coworker had given me for a secret Santa, and I wanted to make sure that it wasn't like you know over 16 pounds. It barely weighs three pounds, so I think I'm good. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I just realized your license plate. Your license plate says "Wow." Yeah, it does. So you're so that whoever owns this car is a World of Warcraft craft player. <laughs> yeah, it's World of Warcraft. Yeah, yeah. So my only, my biggest, uh, getting back to the Sega Nomad. Uh, my biggest issue with the Nomad was that it, the battery life is just horrendous. You know, Jay said the exact same thing in the uh, Facebook chat. He was like, "Yeah, that thing eats up batteries like a mofo." Now, does does yours cut? Did yours come with like an AC adapter or, or plug in of some sort? It had a battery pack and an AC adapter. Nice. Okay. It had, it had all the kit and caboodles. So it's probably better that it had the AC adapter. Then you'll get a lot more use <laughs> out of it that way. Yeah. Now here, see, here's the problem. Uh huh. A lot of the Sega games that I want to get now are extremely people expensive. Have a lot of, people have a lot of fucking balls. Like Mutant League Hockey, cheapest price. It's like 150 cheapest. bucks, right? Well, 65, but it's like, is, is that a fucking joke? You know, it's funny that people, th you, you, you look at the prices of like old games on like eBay or on like other sites like that now, and they're like 60, 70 bucks. Which is the price of a game nowadays on a modern I mean, system. But you got to remember, I, 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 you also have to remember that this is, the Sega Genesis was, its heyday was 30 years ago. And those prices are probably accurate minus inflation at that point. I would say, because I think back in those days we played, paid like 20, 30 bucks for a game. I just, something about that irks my nerves. A little bit. And I, I, I had this discussion with Jace off off the air many times, but I kind of wish, and it's already kind of starting now, that the retro video game bubble would burst. And the reason why I want that to happen is because of scumbags who decide, oh, Mutant League Hockey for Sega Genesis? I'm going to try selling it for $120. Oh, man. Oh, man. And it's like the, fuck, the fucking bocce balls on you. Yeah. To think. Son of a bitch. Present. No, not you, Michael. I was trying to write out a Valentine's Day card, and I had the envelope upside down, so I may need to either just... Have it upside down, and then put the stamp in the wrong place so at least it looks right, or just buy a new fucking red envelope. Motherfuck. Oh, just put the right. stamp in the really, wrong place. It's really not something to have a meltdown about. Yeah. It's just a fucking Well, I just... I was... At the time of this recording, it's not Valentine's Day yet, and I just got the Valentine's Day card, and I'm trying to send the Valentine's Day yeah. card to my boyfriend, and... So yeah. What you're trying yeah, to say is you're trying to send a Valentine's Day. Yeah, in case everybody's wondering why Ashley's selling, sending a Valentine's Day card like six days late, but because it's airs on the 22nd of February. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, for, like, so, getting back to the Sega Nomad discussion again. Yeah. I was trying to find the Dick Tracy Genesis game. Ooh. And like eighty dollars. Eight dollars. Eighty. Eight zero. Oh, eight zero. Oh. And I'm, and I'm just like, what? What the fuck is so good about this game? I mean, don't get me wrong; it's a very good game. Yes, it is. But it is not. It's not eighty. An eighty dollar game. No. Because if I recall correctly, Mike played, and I believe you beat that game. Yes. On a stream one. I did. It's a lot better than the NES. Uh, Dick Tracy. Yeah, the NES Dick Tracy is garbage. 
The Sega yes, Genesis is. one is, is good, though. I just... That's not $80. Uh, I, I, I feel like unless it's like a super rare old, old school game, one you wouldn't normally be able to get in any other means, I wouldn't price it higher than a modern video game. That was just silly. I just... Exactly. If it's like a super rare game, there's not many copies, right. it's hard to come by, then it's like, okay, I can see $80, $80 $90 for a game. But a, a cookie cutter Genesis game. Yeah, the 152nd like copy of fucking Aero Fighters Assault on N64 should not be worth more than a modern video game. And this is why somebody needs to burst this yes. retro game bubble and Absol do it now. Absolutely. Because fucking dirtbags want to charge a hundred dollars for a goddamn game when you know fully well it doesn't have to be that much money right <sighs> i i i i like and, and there I, I saw a listing on ebay for forty dollars and it's like oh oh my god it's actually a reasonable price case and manual only no game. What? Like you got that doesn't. Whatever this is, that makes even less good. sense. Yeah, that makes even less sense. If it's just a case in the manual, it should not. You, it's not worth forty bucks. It should be just two like, fifty. Yeah, two fifty. Yeah, I, I'm gonna need at least three fifty. That's about it. It shouldn't. Yeah, that's it's 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 a piece of plastic and a sheet of paper. If you're charging I just, more than five bucks for that, you're the asshole. That's what I'm saying. But what do I know? You know quite a bit. You're an intelligent man. You know somebody there's a lot there's somebody selling a lot of seventeen Genesis games for forty four dollars. That might be the, worth the, it. See the Dick Tracy yeah. game the Dick Tracy game is among them. But it's also like twelve sports games, so it's like ah, 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 ah. if you want this game, you gotta take all the crappy games too. So I don't know. I feel like buying them in lots is 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 probably better than buying them individually. Spend a lot less money that way. You know, I I used to have your line of thinking, but sometimes when I look at it, it's like okay. A lot of 17 games where you have one or two good games and then 15 shitty games. That's why. That, we, that's why we do roulette shows. <laughs> that's why this show exists. <laughs> yeah. You know, funny thing is, when I went to the record store today, and mind you, this record store was kind of like small and shit, but it was quaint and cozy, and I actually kind of like it. Didn't have a big selection, but they had a few decent records. And they actually had some kind of like modern stuff like, you know, Japanese Breakfast, St. Vincent, uh, Boy Genius. But when I went over to like the side table, which had like just genres, and there was a small selection, I went to the, um, what they call the expensive. The least expensive of them was $44.00. The most expensive one was almost two hundred dollars, and I think it was like a big vinyl collection of Lincoln Park's Meteora. And I'm like, gee, zus. So I feel you on that. You know, what's old is new again. If you notice, vinyl Pretty records, much. vinyl records yeah. are in vogue now. VHS. Tapes are coming back in vogue. Even cassette tapes, yes. apparently, are coming back in vogue. And it's a nostal nostalgia trip again. But see, the thing is, collectors and money hungry cocksucker are getting greedy, and they're just ruining it for everybody. It's like. The, the guy at the record store, he asked me what I was into, and I'm like, I kind of peculiar taste. And, um... 
Oh, I know the thing for you, a Talking Heads album. <laughs> oh, uh, actually, because, uh, I was... Because David Byrne was a peculiar man. <laughs> and it's true, he was. I was yeah, I was going to say, you're, you're not wrong. He was a I mean, there's a few man. Talking Heads... There was a well, few he still is, because he's not dead. That's true. Well, there's a few... It's albums there. Uh, I'm looking for Stop Making Sense. If I can't get it on vinyl, I'll get the Blu-ray and just watch the fucking documentary, the the concert performance. Um, well, there's a few Talk Talk albums. So, uh, yeah, th- that's that. They've got a few vinyls of Talk Talk. So I'll I will. Them. I will say um, the Talk Talk. I've heard of that band. Yeah. All you ever do is talk, talk. I totally, I totally, <laughs> totally acting like I, I, I just have a passing acquaintance with the band and didn't totally cover one of their biggest hits. <laughs> well, I, I was trying to say it without saying it. But... Right. All right. Um... I, I will say this: the uh, "Stop Making Sense" the the album versus the Blu-ray concert. Yeah. Two vastly different versions of. Oh, believe me, I know. I know. Um, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. the album is just one of the concerts, but the actual Blu-ray of, like, the documentary, the concert performance takes place over the course of three days. And A24, has he, they did a re-release, I think, last year with it restored in 4K. Which I kind of missed out on it. Yeah, so you can see David Byrne's nostril hairs. Yeah. A24. I'm surprised that hasn't aired on Showtime. I'm sorry. Paramount Plus was Showtime is what they're calling it now. <laughs> you, do you know what I mean? I mean, they literally... That happened earlier this year. They changed the name of the channel, too, to align with their streaming service. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I don't, I'm sorry. I can have... I just say, I don't... I, I it's That's clunky as fuck. Why... Okay. Just call it Showtime. There's no reason to put Paramount Plus with at the beginning of that. That's stupid. Not for the linear television channel. That's dumb. I'm going to apologize in advance. I have to use the ladies' room. Uh, it's going to get loud. If if I don't come back by the time you do the scores, uh, I, I'll give it 5 out of 10. Okay. But, uh, yeah, Paramount Plus with Showtime is a lousy – that was a lousy rebrand. There is no reason mm-hmm. not to call it anything other than Showtime. I'm getting a phone call. And it better not be... Yeah. Better be okay. Phone. Well, I guess it's just me now. I'm, I'm still here. I'm not leaving the room. Oh. Well, I mean, if you're going to be on the phone. That's... Hello? Oh, well, I'd like to about your car's extended warranty. Uh, I'm in the middle of a record right now. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, how was your 1975 yeah. Ford? Sorry. Huh? Bye. What? Oh, wait, 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 no, no, Trying to ask me questions while I'm in the middle of a record. Who is he? Who? She, not he. She. Okay, who is she? My friend Megan. Well, tell Megan to fuck up. <laughs> I'm not doing that. You know, it's actually kind of funny. I I was pretending to be like the car's extended warranty joke, and it actually lined up with what you were saying. <laughs> so, fun, fun stuff. Can't wait to listen to that back. I, I recommend it. It's pretty funny. I was able to listen to it. I have you guys with me. I just have to mute the microphone because loud things are happening. Oh, you're like you're taking a uh. shit? <laughs> Yes. Yeah. She's 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 beating her lady bishop. She is evacuating her bowels. He is taking the Browns to the Super Bowl. A turd is literally forming and (laughs) sliding out of her anus right now. The juice is loose in her (laughs) anus. Look, I'm sorry. I had Taco Bell. I'll be right back. I'm sorry you had Taco Bell too. You, y'all, why do y'all have to say that? That's disgusting. I love Taco Bell, though. 
Well, I don't like thinking about poo poo Taco Bell. That's what it becomes. Look. All food becomes Look. poo, Dane. Come on. You know how the. You know how the. You know Look, the digestive Taco system Bell. Works. Taco Bell is the last resort of you're, like Tex Mex. Like almost, you have a favorite. You're almost you thirty nine fucking years old, Dane. You know how the digestive system works. Yeah, you're older than me by like a few months, Dane. Like, Get your shit together. Well, yeah. It sounds like you're, you're together, sounds like you're getting your become... shit together. Get your shit together while I lose mine. Whatever. <laughs> How does food become poo? I'll tell you. <laughs> Thoughts on automobile Lamborghini, Dane? Oh, oh, are you are you done? Are you done lecturing me about poo poo? <laughs> never lecturing you about poo poo to begin with. Again, all food becomes poo poo. <laughs> it's it's a standard racing game. It actually wasn't terrible. It looked like it controlled very well. Uh, I wasn't bored by it. So yeah, that's a victory. Yay. Uh, and Ashley's on the shitter, so uh, I will. I am currently making brown babies. <laughs> I am producing the Super Bowl right now out of my ass. Oh, which at the time, the City which, is, which is funny because at the time that we're recording this, the Super Bowl is tomorrow. But um, yeah, did you watch event... it? Did you see? Did you see what happened when Brock Purdy started fucking all those cheerleaders? Yeah, wow. and then Taylor Swift. Decided to strip all of her clothes off and streak down the football field, and because and, she's Taylor she, Swift, nobody t- tried to tackle her or arrest and her. And she and she started blowing everybody on the sideline, and it's never gonna happen again. That's right. You missed it, and you aren't you kicking yourself now? Yeah. But anyway, did you enjoy when the Kansas City Chiefs won the Super Bowl? You, hold on, hold on, hold on, Whoa, hold on. Yeah. <clears throat> Did you enjoy when the San Francisco 49ers won the Super Bowl? <laughs> Covered my bases. <laughs> so either either way, Mike is right. Yeah, that's right. Whichever one actually happens, I'll edit the other one out. Or now I'll leave them both in so I can explain why I'm doing this bit cuz otherwise it's not you, gonna uh, make sense. You got you got all that future, Mike? Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm just going to answer for him right now. No. <laughs> no, I don't have that and I don't care. No. no. <laughs> Scores out of 10, Dane. Seven. Uh, Ashley gave it a five. I'm going to give this a five as well. It's it's middle of the road. Mm. Very middling. Middling, 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 middling. All right, boop. Okay, uh, we're going to go ahead and spin this wheel again and see what we're playing for. Game number two of the episode. Okie dokie. Oh, shit. Cool. This is one of the ones I was looking forward to. Yeah. <clears throat> I remember this game. Yeah. I think everybody remembered. This is one of the biggest games to ever be released on the N64. It had a lot of selling points. It did. Especially, hey, you want to kill Russians as Pierce Brosnan? Well, have we got a game for you. Yeah, and then they updated it 20 years later. Now you can do the same things as Daniel Craig, even though he wasn't uh, in GoldenEye. <laughs> um, the only good remember- Pierce Brosnan James Bond movie. <laughs> mm-hmm. And it wasn't even supposed well, yeah. to be Pierce Brosnan. It was supposed to be Timothy Dalton. Yeah, it was supposed to be last, uh, Timothy Dalton's last movie as B- a Bond, and it got delayed into development hell, and by the time they got around to filming it, he was just like, eh. Move on. So, hot, kind of a hot take. Uh-huh. Um, Timothy Dalton? I liked him as a James Bond. I like Timothy Dalton just in general, but yeah, I think he was a great Bond, and it's a, a shame he only got like two movies. Yeah, they they kind of fucked him over. Oh, absolutely, I agree. Hundred percent, I agree. 
you know, it was just... <laughs> Excuse me. Go play you. Go play you. He, um... Just... He was a breath of fresh air after fucking mummy Roger Moore Bond was shuffling along in the 80s. Just, uh... Yeah, those last one or two Roger Moore James Bond movies. Oh. Mm -hmm. And if I recall correctly, um, even Roger Moore himself said by the end of his run, you know, whenever there were scenes of him making out with women, it was like, these women would be old enough to be my daughter. It was kind of disgusting. Why didn't you put your foot down and say something, Roger? That's you didn't true. seem to. It's true. Yeah. True. And you know I'm going straight for your heart. I got a license to kill. But that was, yeah. That was the. Uh, how many, I don't even remember the song from License to Kill. I guess that was it. Yeah, it was Gladys Knight. It was a fucking banger. And then, of course, you know, Goldeneye had uh, Tina Turner. And Tina it's like, Turner. Tina you know, Aguana. A lot of Tina Aguana. Oh. I actually... The song that I more recognize and established from License to Kill was Patti LaBelle's version of If You Asked Me To. That is a good one, though. That is That is a good song. When he jumps into the swimming pool... And goes after uh, whoever the Naiji was in uh, that movie. If you ask me to. It, um, Pam Bouvier, played by Carrie Lowell. And if I remember correctly, she was very pretty in that movie. Yeah, I uh, I wasn't able to take part of your guys' conversation about Timothy Dalton's uh, stint as Bond, and he really did make for a great James Bond, and kind of sad that he got dicked over. He had one good official Bond movie, and then one unofficial Bond movie, which was good, but just didn't get the roses. He didn't have a, what, what unofficial Bond movie? What are you talking about? License to Kill was considered an unofficial James Bond movie. No, it wasn't. Oh, you're really? no, you're thinking of die, you're thinking of never say never again. Yeah. Oh, okay. And that was Sean yeah. Connery. Yeah. Oh, ew. Don't get me wrong; he was hot back in the day, but um, after a while, like, oh, honey, you, you stop. Oh, honey, oh, child. honey, you stop paying taxes. Oh, yeah. honey, you, you. That's unattractive. You're. <laughs> oh, honey, you you're for smacking women around. That that's that's no, that's, that's extremely unattractive. Yeah. Or if a, if a woman hits oh. you, you can smack her back. That's just Man, shut up. Shut up. Not shut up. true at all, Sean Connery. Shut the fuck up. Do you not remember me from Dario Gilla and the Little People? I was hot. As fuck. I don't. You know, Sh Sean. I don't care if you've been dead since 2020. Shut the fuck up. That's fair. That's precisely why you should shut the fuck up. Because you... Yes, we don't need zombie Sean Connery lurching around, okay? I'm not a zombie. I'm a ghost. And guess what? I just ghost banged your mother. <laughs> See, with, with with age comes the realization that, that that's that's not cool, Sean Connery. Don't, that's that's really not you fucking edge Your mother didn't seem to mind it. Sure. You were in the movie Finding Forrester, so you just be quiet. Don't you, don't you remember in the movie Entrapment when I made out with Catherine Zeta-Jones every five seconds? I was old enough to be her grandfather. Exactly. That's exactly why I was so fucking icky. I'm like, ugh. Fucking hot as fuck Catherine Zeta-Jones making out with the fucking mummy. It was... crazy. 
Well, if Bradley Cooper could make out with Betty White, I could make out with Catherine Zeta-Jones and your mother, Trebek. When, wait, when did when did he when did Bradley Cooper do that? On SNL. Really? Yes, the 40th anniversary show. Uh, it was the sketch of the Californians, and Bradley Cooper played a, a pool boy. And uh, Betty White came in because she, at the time she was like a popular one hit wonder uh, host. Uh -huh. And they really, really loved her. So they they brought her back for the 40th anniversary and they ended up uh, uh, d d kissing like not like Smoothie. comedy. Wait, now this I got I got to see this. Hang on. Just look up uh, SNL 40th Anniversary Californians. Whoa! Oh, whoa! Bradley! They're going, Jesus, they're going to town. Told All you. Right. All right, props. Props to Bradley Cooper. Because guess what, everybody? Back in the day, Betty White was smoking hot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah she, she was. She was a hot piece of ass and funny, too. True. I believe she posed nude in her earlier days of her career too. At some point. Uh, you know, I actually, I think Rue McClanahan also did that. Speaking of Golden yeah. Girls adjacent. Yeah. If you ever wanted to beat off to the Golden Girls, there's your chance. I'm your hot dog man. Um, cool. I don't know where the song is from. I just heard it from a documentary about the word fuck. Okay. Cool. Yeah, it's a good documentary. Talks about Lenny Bruce and porn and... Um, Lenny and, Bruce porn. Oh, oh, no. Not Lenny Bruce. I don't think I'd be able to handle Lenny Bruce actually doing porn. It'd be kind of weird. It'd kind of be like walking in on your... Um, significant other jerking off and instead of tagging yourself in to finish them off just kind of like walking away like ah that bitch i think well i think what ashley's trying to say is that she would fuck lenny bruce if she could no no lenny bruce is not my type i would be friends with lenny bruce he, i would get she likes, with she likes people who are alive yes um, yes i think i gotta put what uh what are we are you, are you trying to find the objectives i know the objective i gotta i think i gotta put a modem on this here it is oh because i'm playing it so i obviously i have the cheats on um but i'm playing it on 007 difficulty so i have to do all the objectives yeah yeah you know i i realize now that the higher the difficulty the more objectives there are yes Oh, yeah, give up for the pause menu music because, uh, hot damn. Like, do, 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 boom, do, do. Yeah, I've actually got the, I turned off the music. Golden Gun. Yeah. Yep. One shot. One shot to kill, yep. Exactly. If you know how to aim it. Yeah, I'm having if issues with it because up is down and east is white. East is white. There we go. Upside white. down, fucking honkies, inside out, and you drive turkey. Okay. I love that song, man. Okay. Ooh. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I think I like the R the RCP nineties better. Yeah, do that. That was one of my favorite guns. You know what it kind of reminds me of? And I got two of them, so. I got two guns, one for each of you. What is it, or what did the RCP ninety remind you of? They kind of remind me of the gun that the soldiers had in Metal Gear Solid, the FAMAS. Uh, like almost akin to it, and I know later on in Metal Gear Solid you can get a FAMAS, 
it's just I love the look of the gun, but it seems clunky as shit. Who is shooting at me? Get down there. All right. Ooh, Thank this you. game brings back this game brings back fucking memories, my guy. Yeah. Mm, memories. Misty oh yeah, real good memories. memories. Do, do, or, if, do, 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 do. or if you want to do the uh, Ren and Stevie version. I think there's something down here I gotta do as well. Yeah, there's something with a computer. Okay. Check. I... Uh, while, I'm, while I'm getting shot at, I'll check at the objectives. Okay. Uh, okay. Intercept data. Oh, I haven't neutralized up. all the alarms. I gotta do that. Where, where are those alarms? I think they might be down here. Forgotten. I have forgotten as well. I think I gotta go around and shoot all the alarm boxes. Which I mean, that means I'd have to go back. Um, I'm not that worried about it. I, all the uh, levels are open, so if I miss an objective, I really don't care. I'll just go on and play the next level anyway. I was gonna say, everything's open already, so it's not yeah. exactly live. Yeah, I did that on Big purpose deal. so we could just explore and have a little fun with the game instead of. You know. Oh yeah. I did that on four course. Now, if it was if we were playing a full playthrough on Backseat Gamer, then I would probably not have the cheats on. But you would actually have to play the fucking game. That's right. Which, to be honest, <laughs> the fucking the I, fucking I game. Appreciate it because this game deserves. Where there the was some, there's a there's a room where there's computers. I swear. It might be at the other end. <sighs> oh, this game brings back all of the feels. All the happy meals. <laughs> yes. All right, I'm trying to open up my dad cool watch, and my dad cool watch is bitch. Open for me, please. <laughs> Did you just say your Deadpool watch is bitch? Yeah, that's a, that's the watch's name. Ah, uh, I see. It's like I'm trying to uh, replace the battery because I replaced the my pocket watches and I bought more batteries for watches and shit. And there's mm. like a place where you could open it, but it's like you have to literally get like super flat up in it. Now, okay. I remember how to. Now I have a Game Boy watch, but the problem is you gotta unscrew the back, and I don't even know if I have the screws for that shit. And plus, they're at a fucked up angle, so I'd have to literally remove the watch bands just to get in it. Okay. Maybe. Hold on. Hold on. If I just use my Samsung phone, maybe. <gasps> oh, I thought it was okay. going to explode. Do I have to make them explode? What do I do now? Okay. So outside of the alarms, the only thing I got left to do is jump off the platform. Yep. There we go. Okay. Okay. If I just push it into the tiny little hole. I can literally replace my Game Boy Color uh, watch battery, and voila! I'll have a I'll have two wristwatches available. Not one, Ooh. but two. Big running through my up? brain. Everything's coming up. Do you have to hit that? Do you have to shoot that bell thing there? Is that the that's, alarm? That's the alarms. Uh, one of the alarms. But you gotta, you gotta get all of them, and I don't know. I, I think there's some back of the way I was. Ooh, this I'm not particularly interested in going on an alarm hunt, so I'm just gonna finish this level. If I can get up the damn stairs. Say it. Big, big ting running through my brain. I think about it. Bye bye. Yeah. Oh, oh no! No, it, it, it's okay. 
Thoughts on GoldenEye, Dane? I mean, what can you possibly say? It's GoldenEye. It's a classic N64 a game. And it's a lot of fucking fun. Ashley? This was one of the quintessential games Nintendo 64. If you had this game, you literally had, like, the time of your life. The the story mode is great. Some of the bonus missions that introduces people to, like, other 007 characters, fantastic. The uh, versus mode is great, uh, unless you're playing Odd Job, because if you're playing Odd Job, you're a hoe. Yeah, I think um, the case could be made for this to be the greatest James Bond video game of all time. And it certainly it certainly has a lot of it hits a lot of the the marks for for that to be the case. Uh engaging first uh uh one player single player campaign game with loads of stuff to do on multiple difficulties. Um absolutely masterclass multiplayer mode. Um Second to none, really, in terms of first-person shooter um, multiplayer. And for a movie tie-in, games. for a movie tie-in, it was pretty damn good. It's rare. What do you expect from Rare in this time period? Rare and Nintendo were like the best of friends in this time, and it's a shame that Rare got sold to Microsoft and became what they became. But at this time, mm-hmm. Rare was untouchable. This was the game, like. I would say uh, this is the game that probably put them on the map in the United States. Mm. This or Banjo. One of those two. Instantly put Banjo, this on the map. Kazooie, Banjo, Kazooie. So, yeah. Absolutely amazing. Although Donkey Kong Country had a lot to probably do with that as well. But this is this is really what solidified them as a top-tier studio. Scores out of 10, Dane. Dang. Ashley. Ten. Ten. Was there any doubt? I don't think there no. was. No. Hell no. Hell no. All right. Oh man, I feel bad. I feel bad for Jace. He is missing some good shit. He is. He is. He's indisposed at the moment. Oh, I know. Is he recording something, or is, is he with Digital Era doing something? No, he's something else. Oh, okay. Well, then, anyway, Jeez, that, you... I won't. I won't dig into that too far. Let's spin this wheel and see what we're playing for the very final game of this episode. It's. Huh. It's. It's. Oh. Huh? After after the the mighty highs of Goldeneye. There's have, only the only, do have two, the only way to do you have two vetoes. And no, no, it's okay. Okay. No more, I love you. The language is the language is motherfucking leaving me. Oh, awesome! This thing has a magnetic end. Perfection. Perfect. No, because I'm trying to. I'm. I'm getting the the battery changed on my uh, Game Boy Color watch, and the uh, screws are sticking right to the the driver. Because I was kind of worried there for a minute. I. Uh, I'm just. Dealing with some settings here, just don't mind me. I'm trying to fix the uh, the shitty audio problem. <laughs> okay. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Wow. I used to be a lunatic, but now I'm still a lunatic. You know, a lot of people say that I whisper. The last lines of all my sentences. I don't do things like that. I don't do things like that yet. They had plantain. I fucking love plantains and shit. I'll fucking Just so you know, 
just so you know, plantains are different than bananas. They're like little midget versions of bananas. <laughs> plantains, they're like, if you fry them up, they taste like potato chips. Like they taste like, them. well, to me, they taste like poopy caca. But, you know, that's just me. Maybe you just need to find a, a good... A good plantain store. Maybe you. I've got a fever. I don't need cowbell. I need plantains. Dun, 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 dun. So this game gets made fun of on fucking um, uh, what the fuck is it called? Botchamania. Fucking what the fuck is it? Fucking fuck fuck. Start for random. Let's do it. Start for random. Can you do computer versus computer? That's what I'm doing. So we got, uh, so we got Portugal. The man. Rebel just for kids. Versus. South Korea. Yeah, or our Korea, as it says there. The Republic of Fuck. So Ralph, so Ralph Korea. Well, it's Portugal versus uh, Korea. So let's do Asian Stadium since they're the home team. Oh, hello! Welcome to the game. Welcome to this live broadcast. This is glorious football weather. It's Portugal versus South Korea. Do 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 do. Okay, come on. Don't, don't you know what? This it. actually doesn't look as bad as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I've heard that International Superstar Soccer is a, is a decently good game. Yeah, I was at, I was I was overthinking it a little bit. I'm like, oh no, this is going to suck. But it's like, it's oh, actually it actually doesn't be that bad. Yeah, doesn't look terrible. We all have those. We all have those moments. Appointment, especially when Konami's involved. The pass doesn't quite make it. South Korea create anything here. He's created a run here. Pass. He's holding on. Mm -hmm. He's going all the way. What an opportunity. Hey. Oh. What? A fine effort by What's an opportunity? Something about opportunities? What? Looking around for openings, he centered the high ball, an easy catch. Guess not. Oh. And a kick. Okay. okay. I'm so proud of myself putting these watches back together, man. I should have done that. So, goal! By Chong. Yep, by Chong. Tommy Chong has four goals. And plus, it only me like I think a total of fifteen dollars much better than paying almost forty or fifty bucks. Like for real. Hmm. He plays the long ball. The pass could have been better. This is scintillating stuff. It is. <laughs> it's it's soccer. Don't, don't do soccer. The, the last time you played a soccer game on any video game related show, you were naked. Uh, and you got what? more naked. I, I think what? you would remember something like that. I don't even remember that. Hi, Jace. That was from... I, I just came into you were naked. <laughs> Um, Dude, that's, a, from, that's an odd. That's a. Was, are we not doing phrasing? <laughs> uh, phrasing. Uh, uh, phrasing. <laughs> so you, uh, missed go you missed Golden Eye. You missed Golden Eye. Oh dang! What was the first game we played tonight? Oh, Automobile Lamborghini. Lamborghini. The legendary, legendary game for us because it has a special place in our hearts. Because it was where uh, we we're no strangers to cups was born. <laughs> and yes. also, uh, Ashley's uh, uh, impression of Dr. Robotnik's wife. 
I wish I could remember that on liver lip donkey honker. Liver lip donkey honker. I just yeah. I can't remember it. I I believe you guys. I just can't remember it. I can fuck your mom with no handlebars. With no handlebars. <laughs> oh jeez, I I think I told you this already. Uh huh. But somebody in Brooklyn. Uh huh. Had a Sega Nomad that was all spiffed up. Yep. Yep. Brand spanking new screen. Insides yep. were all changed, and he was all. Only four hundred buckaruckies, so I was like, "All right, sold." Not bad, not bad. You know, uh, worthwhile investment would probably be an EverDrive because then you could just load that thing up with uh, ROMs, you know, and uh, mm -hmm. just play any game you want. Yeah, but I'm, uh, I, I'm not as I'm not as tech savvy as uh, you are when it comes to ROMs and such. I mean, uh, Sega's not as uh, angry about those as uh, Nintendo is, so uh, you you can easily find like almost the entire Sega library plus like beta versions of a lot of the games on uh, the Internet Archive. Who was that fucking Dunkle Tunt that Nintendo nailed for piracy and like he literally has to pay them for like the rest of his life? Oh, uh, Bowser. Yeah, that's it. He's now the yeah. president, yeah. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Coincidentally, another person named Bowser. <laughs> wow, Nintendo. Uh, In this case, the princess was Nintendo's royalties. <laughs> what was his name, Bowser? Yes. Yeah. No, like the, the, the guy that got sued by Nintendo for running a piracy website was named Bowser. Oh. And the guy who currently runs Nintendo of America is also named Bowser, Doug Bowser. Yeah. Darcy's correct. Hey, Jace, I bought another vinyl record. Oh, nice. Yeah, I bought, um, I gotta remember it. Uh, I bought Little Creatures Little Creatures by Talking Heads Ah uh, If I had a record player I would probably buy video game soundtracks Just because they've been releasing a lot of video game soundtracks And some of them are really freaking cool looking It's kind of amazing actually Like uh and kind of ridiculous when you see how many vinyls somebody uh, like that these that these uh, game soundtracks fit on. Like, uh, <laughs> look at them! Look at them dance! Uh. Oh, Portugal! Oh, Portugal! Goal! Goal! So, oh, Portugal and their linguiça and their and their casserola. And their and their shitties, and, and, their, the, and their bacalao, and the bridge that and the bridge to Massachusetts that certain people thought existed. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so what you're saying is there's actually a bridge to Portugal? <laughs> <laughs> That's the joke. joke. No, but Shit. you're really saying? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Winkleman. Sorry. Sorry. Hey, Winkleman, shut the fuck up. Ding, 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 ding. That was one of those moments where I'm like, it's on the soundboard, Ashley. Shut the fuck up. What? The <laughs> Winkleman shut the fuck up? No, I just played it. The, shut the, the, shut fuck, the fuck up. up. <laughs> I didn't hear it. I'm sorry. I just played it twice. I don't know why. I, so I don't know why. Ashley I can't cannot. Hear the it's probably because I'm on my phone with this and not with Just you guys. Just spacing out a bit and, like, the phone quality's crapping out a bit. Yeah. Shut How the come the timer up. is zero Yeah. and they're still playing? Yeah. <laughs> yes. I wonder if that has anything to do with the cheats. No, there are no cheats. 
I was gonna say what what cheats for a soccer game? Yeah. I don't know. Oof. The, Come by on, that, game oh wait a minute, by that logic the game will never end. The never ending game. The never ending game. The never ending soccer game. So uh, yes, I would like uh uh, a Big Mac, a large oh, hey, fry, yeah, and a Coke. Coke. Speaking of know. whose line is in any way adjacent thing, there, there was a, uh, a project for a Kickstarter for a film that Kyle Mockery's in. Where the hell oh, is yes, Coke? I heard of this. Yeah, I saw that. And much to my delight it appears it already made its goal so woo. nice so at this point donating to it would just be you getting credit which there's nothing wrong with that i mean as much as that would be cool i just there's there's certain kicks i've had a lot of bad experiences with kickstarters in terms of halfway decent experiences i think i've only had one kickstarter like that got funded not actually follow through i've had more than one that got funded where the people never came through with their rewards and so i get very we leery about it unless i know for sure then it's like okay, we have the the rewards ready, and we will give them to you. So, yep. Thoughts on International Superstar Soccer, Dane? Wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. It, it was pretty nice, pretty nifty. I I liked it. Jason, this was way better than FIFA. Uh, also, this was back when Konami was good. That's fair. Ashley. Meh. But you know how I feel about some sports games. Uh, why'd you turn into a goat? Meh. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, it's it's better than FIFA, but it's still it's still a soccer game. Eh. Mm -hmm. Scores out of ten, Dane. Um six. Jason. Uh Seven. Ashley. Four. I'll give it a seven. Uh, on this edition of the show, we played Automobili Lamborghini, Gold Knight 007, and International Superstar Soccer 64. Best game of the episode, Dane. Is this really a question? Yes. Golden Eye. Ashley. Golden Eye. Yeah, Golden Eye wins. Boom! Headshot! Thanks for joining us on this edition of Retro Roulette. And if you're wondering why Jason didn't get a pick, it's because he wasn't here for the whole episode. <laughs> I uh, mean, obviously it was going to be GoldenEye even if I didn't see the other games. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that is fair, though. That is fair. Uh, thank you for joining us on this edition of Retro Roulette. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe. Be sure to keep that available. Hit the notification. Okay, well. <laughs> Be sure to hit the bell to be notified about upcoming videos. For Dane Ford, Joan, Jason Amherst, and Ashton Miller, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time on Retro Roulette. Good night, everybody. Au revoir.